Find all values of m so that the function y equals e to the mx is a solution of the given differential equation. So let's go ahead and work through this. This is a really nice uh, problem. So y equals e to the mx. And so the question is to find m so that it's a solution to this de here. So the de here is y prime plus 6y equals 0. So the reason this problem is so cool is because all you have to do is use the fact that it's a solution. So this function is a solution to this DE if whenever you plug this function into the DE, this equation is true. So all you have to do is take the derivative and plug it in. So the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So here it's e to the mx times the derivative of the inside function using the chain rule. So m is a constant, so the derivative of mx is m. For example, if it was 2x, it would be e to the 2x times 2. So y prime is equal to m times e to the mx. Good stuff. So all we do now is plug everything into the de. So y prime is m e to the mx. So m e to the mx, very nice, plus 6. And then y is e to the mx. So e to the mx, and this is equal to 0. And again, the question is to find m. So this equation has to be true. So now I guess we can factor out an e to the mx. I love how it just works out. It's beautiful. So we get m plus 6, and that's equal to 0. You can actually divide by e to the mx now. e to the mx can never be 0. If you think about it, it's going to look like this if m is positive. And so it'll always be above uh, the line y equals 0. If m is negative, it'll look like this. And it'll also always be above the line y equals 0. So e to the mx is never 0. So you can just divide by it. So it goes away. So you get m plus 6 equals 0. And so we end up with m equals negative 6. And that would be the answer to the problem. So go ahead and type it in, negative 6. I hope this video has been helpful.